Hey gang, it's Wednesday, April 20th, and today I'm going to talk about my TV habits. Boom, 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 ding, boom, 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 boom. So I really have two different types of TV watching. One is where I'm doing other things, playing on the computer, reading a book, whatever, and I have the TV on more for background noise or if something really catches my attention to watch for a minute. Um, and in that case, the TV is normally either on ESPN or one of the local news channels or a national news channel like CNN or MSNBC. Uh, but that's not what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about my favorite TV shows, where I sit down to watch a specific show at a specific time and don't do anything else. So these are in no particular order, but these are probably my top five shows that I would not want to miss. Show number one is Glee. Uh, this airs on Fox, Tuesdays at 8, 7 central. Glee is one of my favorite shows just because it is so cheesy and hilariously over the top. Uh, three quarters of the stuff that happens in William McKinley High School would get everybody fired and all of the kids sent to therapy. But you watch it to laugh at it, to gently mock it. Not to mention, Glee, co Glee covers some excellent songs that I wouldn't have had the opportunity to learn about if it weren't for the show. Um, I've probably added 40 songs to my iTunes repertoire that weren't there before I started watching Glee. Uh, number two is Numbers, uh, stylized capital N-U-M-B-3-R-S. This was a uh, comedy drama series that ran on CBS a few years ago. Ran for about six seasons, and it focused on an FBI agent and his mathematician brother who would team up to solve crimes in the Los Angeles area. It was a really good drama, and I enjoyed a lot of the plot and storylines behind it. And the show always made an effort to try and incorporate real mathematical topics into their discussion. And so that made it educational and informative as well as entertaining. So that's one of the big reasons that I liked that show. Number three is Scrubs, and I, I just cannot say enough about Scrubs. Uh, Scrubs ran on NBC for eight seasons, transferred to ABC for a ninth after their contract dropped, and they lost most of their principal actors, which is why I believe that Scrubs only had eight seasons. The ninth season is some bastardized version of a show that isn't Scrubs, just had the name Scrubs. But anyway, I'm not upset about that at all. One of the reasons that I love Scrubs is because it has the ability to go from hilariously comedic and, quite honestly, sophomoric at times. Uh, just ask anybody in my generation about banana hammocks, and you'll know what I mean. To dramatically serious and even tear-jerking in the same episode. One of the most touching episodes is when Dr. Cox, the elderly doctor, uh, tries a risky surgery and ends up losing three patients. And as they show montages from the patients' lives and Dr. Cox trying to save them, the song How to Save a Life by The Fray is playing in the background, and it's incredibly powerful, incredibly moving, and this from a show that was known for its comedy. So it's, it's really one of the great shows of the 2000s. And if you haven't seen it, you've probably been under a rock. But I recommend you get out from under that rock and go see it. Number four is Sherlock. Sherlock airs on BBC, some channel over there. I don't know. I only get it online. It's a basic adaptation of the Sherlock Holmes stories by Arthur Conan Doyle but they're reworked to be set in a 21st century setting. It's written by Mark Gattis and Stephen Moffat. That's Stephen Moffat behind Doctor Who. So you know it's going to be good, and it is. There's moments of comedy in there. There's moments of drama. There's moments of heartwarming intrigue. And it's just all the things that go into a good show rolled into one. There have been three 90-minute episodes released, so it's more of a mini-series, really. And three more are in the works for this fall, which I'm very excited about, which I cannot wait for. Da! Ah! Sherlock. Love it. And last but not least, 
because I am a total dork and must reference this at least once every video. Jeopardy. Why do I love Jeopardy? Because I'm a nerd. I love to be able to sit at home and watch the trivia questions and answer more than the people on TV do. I've actually taken the contestants test for Jeopardy a couple of times, and I passed the one for the college tournament and was invited to audition for the show uh, last year. Unfortunately, I could not make it to the audition because I had stupid tests. Um, and I took the test for the adult version this year and pretty much bombed it. But I am going to keep trying year after year when they offer it. And one day, I will be on Jeopardy. So there we go. That's a basic look into my TV habits. I think this video is like 11 minutes long already. So I'm just going to cut it off now. Uh, Rhonda, I will see you tomorrow.